What's up everybody, welcome back to another Squabbler Showdown. Today we are doing it on Inform Filth Odin, which has just dropped approximately one hour and 40 minutes ago because my clock is 10 minutes fast and I still haven't got around to fixing it because it's one of them windy clocks where you have to, you can't just turn it back 10 minutes, you have to turn it forward 23 hours and 50. Mm. <laughs> so, <laughs> I haven't bothered to do it yet. But, this one has just come out, Jack. I picked him up for 155k, which seems like a bit of a bargain for a man with four-star skills, crazy good dribbling. Just really good all-round stats, 92 agility, 93 balance, decent shooting, decent pace, decent passing. Is he the next big thing in English football? 100%. I mean, I think him and Bellingham are definitely... Uh... Drew Bellingham is a baller from yeah, what I've seen I, him I, playing for England, so that is true. I think, I think Drew Bellingham, Bellingham is like, I can't, but I hope he moves to a Premier League club like next season or I'd love him at Liverpool, obviously. But yeah, I'd say I'd say Foden and, and Bellingham are up there. Obviously, you could arguably say Foden has done more, I suppose. I mean, but... he's born in the year 2000. Yeah. So he's a new millennium footballer mm -hmm. and he's already unbelievable. Yeah. People were always saying... I mean, people are always saying that Neymar is going to be the guy who overtakes Messi and Ronaldo. Yeah. But Messi and Ronaldo are still going and Neymar isn't close to overtaking them no. yet, which is kind of crazy. No. The next generation is Mbappe, Haaland. They're probably... The, Haaland is probably the biggest one at the moment, isn't he? Definitely. I, I would say... Foden he's, I could think, be up there, you know. I think he trumps um, Mbappe. You can fold and trumps no, Mbappe. No, 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 that is a no, no, great no, 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 thing to no, say, Jack. No, 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 no. I think Harlan trumps Mbappe. You reckon fold and trumps Mbappe? Shut Jack, up. get them comment Don't section. Don't you dare! You're gonna if you edit this, <laughs> mate. <laughs> no, Harlan. I think Harlan trumps Mbappe. But yeah, obviously Foden. Foden's a different kind of player, isn't he? He's not a striker. He's a he's an attacking midfielder. So or wide wide player as he played against um, Liverpool. But yeah, I think who's he's, Everton's? Left wing that we just signed for 1.5 million. Tamara Gray. <laughs> Thanks for the voice note. A little audio clip. I can now edit that so it says Damari Gray trumps Mbappe. <laughs> yeah. He's... Who's Everton's left wing that we just signed for 1.5 million? Tamara Gray. I think he trumps um, Mbappe. Anyway, we have done another Squabble Show done over on Jack's channel. We did it on Inform Seller and we actually, for once, recorded the guest's video first. Which means you've basically got all our chit chat and waffling and talking rubbish out of the way, Jack. Yeah. Because we usually only text each other every now and again for like a week or two, and then we'll record a video and talk loads. Whereas we've just done all that talking on your channel, so we can just get cracking, mate. Exactly. What formation do you want to play Foden in? So, um, I do kind of want to play him as the position he is, well, the, the, the default position that he has. Um, Kind of thinking about a 4-3-2-1. I think that's maybe a little bit risky. Um, so I'm just going to go for a standard 4-3-3. But I'm going to go for the fourth one, mate. So not a standard 4-3-3, actually. After no, yeah. I, 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 was, I was going to go standard 4-3-3, but then just changed it. So <laughs> Okay. You can have it. I did yes. put 4-3-2-1. It's also made me realise, or made me remember, to interrupt after saying we talked about all the waffling. In the last couple of showdown, in the one with Jared on Hero Tim Kale, I experimented by putting timestamps in the video for the first time. And I'm just curious in the comment section if you guys are interested in them, if I am wasting my time in doing it and you're never going to use them anyway. I don't know. I feel like people... The people who comment are often the most polarizing people. You only get extremes commenting saying that they really like the video or that they absolutely hate the video or really extreme opinions, that all the people in the middle who are just chilling and enjoying the content don't tend to comment so much. So the people that do comment either tell me how much they love all of the chit chat in Squabble the Show and how it makes it different to other series, or tell me they absolutely hate it. And can I please shut up and just do the guesses? I feel like the timestamps could help appease both of them people, I guess, if they wanted to. Mm -hmm. The waffler listeners can just listen anyway, and the people who hate it can skip ahead, but it's the people in the middle that I'm most interested in. Is that something you guys are interested in? Is it helpful? 
Does it make the content easier to watch or engage in because you can come back and flick? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Other people, people in the middle who don't usually comment, let me know in the comments if that is a helpful thing to do or if I'm just wasting 10 minutes of my life setting them up every time I upload a video. Anyway, Jack, I'm going to play 4 3 2 1. Sorry. I did say we had no waffling and I remembered that I wanted to ask people that. Yeah, it's right, mate. You're not going to play, be playing 4 3 2 1. It's fine. Actually, do you know what? I did say we wouldn't do any waffling, so I'll probably just cut that out and we'll just go back to doing the formations again. All right, Jack. So I'm going to play 4 2 3 1, the second variation. <laughs> oh, you're a funny man. Funny man. Right, what's bad this year? I don't know if free back's bad, is it? I've heard it's really OP, actually. Really? Well. You can use it then, mate. You can have the 3142. Lovely. Thanks for giving the most OP formation on the game, Jack. You're so <laughs> silly. I mean, you'll probably still beat me a bit, so. But... Should we move into the first picks? Yes, let's do it. <laughs> In we go then, after that absolutely horrific start. I'm just going to jump straight in and get myself to really, really good strikers, Jack. Okay. At left striker, I am going to go for a man by the name of Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. And at right striker, I'm going to link him up with the man who you said... It's better than Mbappe, Erling Haaland. <laughs> no, you're not. no, you're not, mate. <laughs> this has not gone well for you, has it? <laughs> Sorry. I put down Haaland and Marlon. So there we are, mate. You, 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 can have, you can have Haaland and Marlon. How would you expect me to get chemistry with that, Jack? Because then you can just box them off, can't you, with Royce? I did actually have Royce down as well, but I forgot we weren't using cams as well, so. I just even know what formation I'm playing. Phone links to them, and you've still got it right. Oh, yeah, they do. I thought you had the... I, for some reason, I had it in my head, you're using the 3 4 one two. <laughs> That's actually even funnier, so I don't care. Look, just take a on that your team, mate. Oh, he's got my, oh, he's got my players right by accident. Are you messing me? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's happened before as well. Oh, my God. Mate, it's been a long day recording. Do you know what I mean? Honestly, you should be blonde. I swear. <laughs> you you need to be like Foden, mate. Dye your hair blonde. It'd be more realistic. Might have had about five hours sleep, six hours sleep, and I've been recording since flipping... 9 a.m. So, and it's just for everyone's context, it's 6 to 8 in the evening. So, 6 to 8. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's how we say it down in, the, in Brighton. We're very precise, oh. mate. What time is it? Oh, it's about 8 past 5, mate. <laughs> I just looked and it was 7 50, 1954, so it's like 6 to 8, mate. It's uh, funny. Anyway, um, I would like to give you someone, mate. Go do on. you still want a, like a Norwegian? Do you still want a Bundesliga player? Or I mean, the only reason I picked Haaland is because he, he links to Solskjaer. Does he get a strong link? I mean, does Jostein, if you want to give me him? No, thank you. Does, he doesn't does, get a strong link. No, so he's he just gets a soft, a soft link. link. Yeah. All right, I'll give you a yeah. soft link then in the Bundesliga. Funk. You can have Funk, mate. I can have funk. Yeah, he's a bronze goalkeeper. German. I'll be playing it's my... It's not a uh... soft link to bloody... Oh, yeah, it's not... What's it, is it? Sorry, I'm being an idiot. I keep thinking of Solskjaer as a Told you, mate. Get your hair dyed. <laughs> I'm telling you. Keep thinking of Solskjaer as a... Uh... Thingy. Uh, all right, I'll just, shall I just give you a Prem player? Because it's going to be a bit... You just give me Jostein if you want. I did just... Okay, yeah, just take Jostein, yeah. Take Jostein. Good. So I said, shall I have Jostein? And you've said, no. <laughs> have a German one. And then you go, have Jostein. Yeah. 
I was, I was after much deliberation, mate. Okay, yeah, I'm glad you fought long and hard yeah. about which goalkeeper to give me a striker, Jack. <laughs> Look, you be, Solskjaer is basically a striker as well, as, as we did find out um, prior. So, yeah, so. I don't want to spoil your video, but nah, let's just say I didn't get along well with Solskjaer in Jack's video. So I thought it'd be nice and bait to pick him again to link mm -hmm. across the Harlands because he wouldn't think I'd do it because I was crying about him so much. Yeah. No. I guessed it by accident, didn't he? Because I thought I had a bloody different formation. Well, you picked my formation, Jack. I know, I know. Oh my god! Just tell me you get get this, get it, get me out this video. Tell me your players. Come on. <laughs> right. Um, I would like someone that's had like quite a big pace upgrade this year. I'm gonna go for Immobile and okay. uh, the new Felipe Anderson. Not mate. so immobile anymore. Am I right? Sorry. <laughs> and Felipe Anderson, mate. Nice, strong link there. Immobile and Felipe Anderson. Mm. Good. Solid, I you think. You may have them both. Thank you very much. Featured mate. team of the week, Felipe Anderson. Yeah. 84 rated. All right. Should we move on to the midfield? Indeed. Let's do it, mate. Right, come on. Get this video over and done with, mate. Who's joining your midfield? Okay. So. I would like left centre mid. I'm going to go for a nice little uh, strong link to Foden in Bernardo Silva. And then we are going to go for the pit of Dries Mertens as McCann. And as my right centre mid. We'll go for, is it Fabian? Yeah, Fabian. Cool. Cool. Thanks for watching, everybody. It's been a good one. Who did you put that? <laughs> Rodri, Gundogan. Fernandinho. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> You're actually having a mare, aren't What's you? What's even stupider is I was going to put Fabian because he's like, I do, because he's the link from the Serie yeah. to the Bundesliga. Yeah. Because you go Rodri Fabian. I mm -hmm. thought, nah, don't do that. Just put Rodri and then he'll, you have to use that to use Fabian because he could go Lewis Albert. You picked Fabian anyway for no reason. Just put him right centre mid because why not? Well, I need a strong link, don't I, for, for Mertens. I guess. That's I'm why you used it. Just fuming <laughs> Jack, to be honest with you. It literally couldn't be going where, Sonny. <laughs> right. Who would you like, mate? Alright, I've got the luxury of being able to go any Premier League midfielder on the whole game at left centre mid. Yes. Because. Just the links of are just perfect. Solskjaer. Yeah. Yes. So I'm going to go Kai Havertz. Because he's German. So I can then go over to the Bundesliga and pick Sabitzer and Kimmich. Oh, I like them apples, Jack. It just doesn't get any better for you, does it? <laughs> <laughs> so I put down Gundogan Havertz and Kimmich You're joking me I am, yeah I put you... down Emre, Emre Chan, Vitzel and Tiedemans <laughs> Oh thank god <laughs> Oh my god <laughs> Well done, well, mate. Can't You've, take uh, this. Can't yeah. take this, Jack. <laughs> Let's move on. Oh, love it. <laughs> Onto the full backs we go, or if you're me, right midfield, because Jack's just trying to ruin my life. Section by section on Squad Builder Show that. Very happy, mate, with how things have gone, to be honest. Um, uh, am I going first? Do you want me to read out mine? You can go first if you want. All right. 
sweet. So, left back, um, we can kind of go for anyone we want, really. To be honest, in the uh, the prem. So I'm gonna go for a bit of Tierney, mate. Tierney. I think he looks like a pretty solid player. I haven't tried him out yet as well, so why not? Um, right back, we are going to obviously be looking... I think I'm going to stay in the Serie A um, this time. Oh, there's so many, isn't there? Oh, for God's sake. Let's go for a bit Lazari, mate. Why not? There is so many, to be fair. To the odds of me getting it. We're annoyingly slim. I put Tellez. And Lazari. There's so many. And you picked the one I wrote. Ah, oh, that's annoying. I don't I didn't even need, I realised it was probably a bit of a stupid thing when I put him in because obviously there's a strong link to flipping Felipe Anderson. Oh. Oh well. Strong link to Felipe Anderson, you say? Yeah. <laughs> oh god I can sort you out a strong link to Felipe Anderson mate I have a bit of Adam on Is this a goalkeeper? It is a goalkeeper 10 points if you can guess the flag as well Without looking obviously Ooh Um I don't know I'm gonna I guess I don't want to upset anyone I'm going to get, just, I don't know, guess a country. I'm going to guess Macedonia. Lithuania? Lithuania! Oh, Jack. you actually got it legit. Yes. <laughs> Look at me then. Here we go. The luck is He's in today, ladies and gents. All. I'm not blonde. Yeah, exactly. Defied. Look. To be fair. Oh, of course. That's Macedonia's flag. What's I that? say that now. Like, I mean, if, I, if you show me that flag, I think I'd say, that's Macedonia. Well, it's North Macedonia, isn't it? That's a... To be fair, we've England have played Macedonia that many times. Oh. Should know what it looks like. <laughs> yeah. Did you oh. know? We are meant to be doing this couple of shows without waffling because we've done it all on your channel. Here's a mm -hmm. random fact for you. Go I on. am a... I don't even know what the word is. A, a beacon of knowledge is the wrong thing to say. A endless pit of random rubbish that you don't need to know. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably a better way to describe it. There's a massive argument about... So Macedonia, I'm calling it Macedonia. But its actual official name is the Republic of North Macedonia. Right. And the reason for that is because Macedonia, historically, is just an area of, like, it's just a place. Like, Macedonia is a place. But it it's mostly in Greece. Okay. So then, when Macedonia made a country and said, well, we want to be called Macedonia. They were arguing for ages with Greece about whether they should be allowed to call it, and eventually they compromised, and they are called the Republic of North Macedonia. So they basically wanted their own, like, entity, essentially. Well, they just wanted to call it. They are, they are also from that place. It's just a lot of that place is also in Greece. Got you. Okay. Interesting. Because it's not a it's, a... it's a historical place rather than a country in modern days. Do you know Got what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. So, Random pointless fact for you. I think like Alexander the Great might have been from Macedonia. I mean, now you're now you're pushing the boat out here, mate. Here, mate. He was. There you go. He was. So he's a king of the ancient Greek kingdom of Macedonia. There we are. So, anyway, do you know what I want for right mid? Yes, mate. I basically mate. just distracted myself from the inevitable. Yeah. I've moved away from let's get this video over with as fast as possible to let's drag this video out as much as I possibly can, and maybe we'll never get to the game. <laughs> I'll have Baku, please, Jack, because he's actually kind of defensive. Yeah, it's probably was a wise move. Um, I obviously just had to put down the, the best player on there, Sane. I thought you were going to say Silas. Fair enough. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Danny's going to come around and fight you. Well, you know. Nah. Nah. But you're not going to be getting a... I don't, I don't think you're going to be wanting to carry on going into the Bundesliga. I think you might branch out somewhere. I don't know. We'll soon see, though, won't we? What, what is this? He guesses one flag right and he thinks he's some super genius who can start playing mind games and all sorts. Yeah, look, we just plant some seeds and we hope they grow, that's okay. all. <laughs> just turn into a philosopher as well. Should we just move on? <laughs> Shut up, you're the one talking about Alexander the Great. What are you, a flipping... What were they, what were they called? 
historian? No, um, <laughs> when they would. Ah. Uh, when they would like go and find new land. Um, Explorer? Yeah. <laughs> Start calling you Dora, mate. <laughs> Good. Well, I'm glad we got there in the end, mate. <laughs> I'm now almost as old as Alexander the Great, waiting for you to think of the word explorer. Shall we move on? Yes, my hair's also gone blonde. Okay, here we go then. Jack's mind games and philosophy and exploring aside, I need to pick three centre-backs. I can't decide how... Like, it's like trying to read the mind of somebody who doesn't even know what their own mind's doing. So how am I meant to know what you're thinking when you're telling me, oh, is he going to go Bundesliga? I'm just planting some seeds that might grow. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know what you're getting at, to be honest with you. Have, did you. have you seen that clip of Sean Locke and John Richardson playing the box game? Potentially. And then Sean Locke looks like an idiot the whole time and then actually mega brains oh, yeah, John yeah, Richardson no, 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 at the no, end. No, no, I, have. I yeah, feel yeah, like yeah, that's I what's have. about to happen to me. I think you're a moron and then you're going to guess all of my players. <laughs> 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 With you just saying stupid things about my team. So I could go Rudiger and then go across to the Prem. I could go Kerra and then go across to the league in. I'm going to go... St. Just. Tap Sober. Sula. And Castiles. Well. I put down. Sula. Right, now you're just lying again. I did write down Sula and then I robbed him out for Klosterman. Um, and then I put down Kimpembe, Marquinhos and Donnarumma because... Oh, he sowed seeds and they didn't grow. Beautiful. Well, to be fair, you don't actually... All you need is a strong link, like a German right centre-back. And then you can... You can and they could have done anything, actually. Yeah, yeah, so I probably should have picked Sula. Put a right centre-back and not picked... Bundesliga ones, because that's just extra chances to lose players. You are correct, Jack, actually, yeah. 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 But I'm just saying you could have done anything. You know. Yeah. Could have done anything. But you've got a lovely defence now. So. Could have gone Joe Gomez. Could have gone back to the Prem, actually, yeah. Could have gone Joe Gomez, Van Dyke, Allison or something like that. Mm. Or Ruben Dias, Laporte, Edison. Yeah. Or Adair Militao, but no, not Varane anymore. Nacho Fernandez and Courtois. Anything. Yeah. All right. Well done, though, mate. Congratulations. So, my team. Right centre-back, I'm going to go for a player which I'm hoping now pace is not needed necessarily in a defender. And positioning and, you know, defensive awareness is more what you need. Oh, goodness me. Some of these stats. It's great. We're going to try it. I've said it now. We're going to go for Nesta, mate. Nesta? Nesta. Wait, are you giving that speech to pick an icon? <laughs> yeah. Are you about to pick Ogbonner or something? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and then... Um... Centre well, left well, the, the As center this back. FIFA is very not pace oriented. <laughs> <sighs> I'm actually just gonna, I'm gonna go for Lewandowski. Oh I know it's bad. I know he's only 92 rated. <laughs> if yeah, it is like, on, come on. Come on. Um I'm gonna go for Matt mm. <laughs> You throw me off now, mate. Um, I mean, there's only so many of these that you can put down. So, do you not come into these sections knowing what you want, Jack? Or did you? Know I do, you and then it was you, over three seconds I ago. do, and then you come out of all this gibberish, and I'm like, <laughs> now you're planting seeds in my head. Maybe I just need to, you know, I don't know, 
relax a little bit. We'll have um, we'll have Rudiger, mate. You you put him down. I know he's on the flipping whiteboards. So just I'll take him on the team in due course. Um, and then in goal we'll have. Pickford. Come on! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> no oh, way! Oh, how the tables have turned! <laughs> There's no way. There's I absolutely put... no way. Sergio Ramos, Rudiger and Pickford. <laughs> no, you have not. <laughs> yes! Oh, baby, this is about to get interesting. <laughs> Oh my god. Jack, Jack, Jack. At least, mate. At least you I've already used my trump card at right back. I guess it's the only saving grace. However, maybe I'm about to face the first goalie in FIFA 22 that I've played against. That doesn't feel like playing against six prime Peter Schmeichel. Jens Lehmann, David Seaman, all of them parked on the line together. My defence is in absolute tatters, mate. You can have 50 rated Oluwemi. Oluwemi. Is this goalkeeper or...? That's for your goalie, mate. The lowest rated goalie in the Prem. And for your centre-back, Jack. You can have 55 rated McClelland with 51 pace. Oh, I feel a lot better now, you know. I'm not surprised, mate. You've had your tea and there's been there's something in that pokey bowl, mate. I'm telling you, because it's just turned you into an absolute wizard. Well, well, well. Fuming. Oh, anyone else? Anyone else? <laughs> this always happens to you. You're so bloody jammy. <laughs> oh, should we get into a game? Yeah, let's do it, mate. Oh, Here God. We go, then. The first. Guest goalkeeper of FIFA 22. What impact? Kind of good to the guest. You're right back now, to be honest with you. <laughs> it is the only positive. I have, This is not the uh, the first time I've used a, a, a goalkeeper, mate, on um, FIFA oof, Yeah, you have to put 22. one in every squad, mate. No, bronze one. Um, yeah. And m the one that I had was actually unbelievable, so <laughs> it didn't and actually make that much. Game. Yeah, it, genu it genuinely Mental. didn't make that much of a difference. Um... Oh, Nesta. Look at that from the keeper as well. Wow, we're like that. We're being like that, are we, Jack? I was going to try and <laughs> score 40 yard <laughs> screamers against your bronze goalie. <laughs> Okay. There we go. Come on. <laughs> oh, go on, Foden. No Mate, way. Nesta. Oh, my God. Did you see that interception? Jesus. Uh, you didn't do a thing then, did you? No, not at all. Not at all. I'll admit that. <laughs> oh, piss off, Jostein, man. Yeah, he just dove in. Dro um, dived in, he didn't he? He robbed the ball yeah. himself. <laughs> Literally. Oh, that would have been lovely. Merton! Oh, mate, what is Castile's on? Flipping hell. I can't get out my off. Nah, how's McClellan plucking that down? <laughs> like he's in Iesta or something? Are you messing me? He's offside, ref. Oh, that's surely a pass back. Mate, he's so good. It's actually a joke. So I actually good. can't deal with this. 
This is so, so <laughs> bad. 3142 is horrendous, and Nest yeah. is ridiculous. My theory is correct, though. What, picking Nine... an icon means you've got a good centre back? No, but like, Nest, <laughs> if this was FIFA 21, it would be terrible at this stage in the game. You would oh. like, you'd be running, well, probably, I don't, to be fair, mate, I don't think your strikers helped today, let's be honest. Like, if you actually had a half decent striker. One of striker, them's awful, and one of them's Jarstein. Yeah. Oh, God. I cancelled that. <sighs> Come on, Tinny. Please. Whoa, yes. We saved it. Thank Christ for the bronze goalie. Yeah. I thought it saved that. It just parried it in. Why? Oh. Oh, you're messing me. <gasps> nah, you're. Oh, please be offside. Uh, please be offside. It's on please size. be offside. Mate, I crapped myself there. <laughs> oh, what's Kimmich doing, man? I read that so well, and he did some weird lie down. He's. Oh, oh. calm down, Gareth Bale. <laughs> <sighs> this game is stress. It's a goal. Finish from Phil. Okay. That was me just being stupid. If I'd taken that away, that never happens. Let's go. Woo! Okay, Ollie's 88 shooting finally comes in. Ah, that's not a foul ref, that's just good battling. No way. <gasps> As yes! If, as <laughs> if you've scored a kickoff goal from doing a bloody uh, dummy. Ah, this is so stressed. <laughs> Mate, I feel like so many stupid players like Solskjaer and stuff. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> oh, God. Go on, Josty. What a ball, lad. <gasps> That's a pen ref. No, it's, oh my god. I thought that was going in. I can't believe you've equalised in the 90th minute with a <laughs> kickoff goal. <laughs> Dummy that I just, I just couldn't do anything. You said about them as well, didn't you? You said they're oh, really good. I they're tried. so OP. Yeah, they're so OP. Oh, it, god. It, I think it stops the defenders from like um, reacting as quick. Like they've added that in so that the dummy actually does something. So... Dearie me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's get our teams mixed around then. I'm just looking. You've you've got you've got Nesta, you've got Philippe Anderson, you've got Foden. Yeah. I've got Foden, Solshire. And it's not too bad, actually, you know. I would have had Haaland, Kimmich. but I feel like if I would have had Haaland, I would have been about 8-0. Yeah, yeah. The amount of my... Well, not 8-0, 8-3, because I still can't defend with three at the back or on this game anyway. Mm -hmm. The amount of my attacks that Jostein ruined. Immeasurable. Immobile seemed very, very good, by the way. I couldn't deal with him. Mm. Are you ready? I'm ready, mate. I'm ready. I've got one each. Do you want to go first or second? Um, I'll go first, mate. Go on. Left striker. Jostein. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Might as well just quick sell him. Left centre mid. Oh. <gasps> uh, Immobile. Oh, okay. Do you want me to whack him into an SPC or he's 8k? He's 8k. He's 8K. He quick sells for 5, so shall I put him into an SPC? He's literally fodder. Yeah, you can put him in a cold upgrade if you want, mate. Alright, sweet. Um, Nesta was left back. <laughs> you little tease. <laughs> you little tease. I uh, love it. Absolutely love it. Right. Okay, well, we'll be back when Jack has sorted out his SPC.
Well, to be fair, it's done, mate. So you can. It's already done. Video. Well, there yeah. you go. That was the world's shortest cut ever, wasn't it? <laughs> there we are. I hope you guys have enjoyed this Squabbler Show. It's been absolute chaos. It was very fun. I don't think I'd have found it as fun if I didn't guess your centre back in goalie and actually nice. managed to somehow sneak yeah. three goals playing three one four two. <laughs> Oli Gunnar Solskjaer and Jostein. Make this Oli Gunnar Solskjaer so bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's got a walkout that's two player pack, but it's Parejo, so just carry on, sorry. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> well, <laughs> if we'd have just lost 3 0 because I didn't manage to guess them, I think I would have found it a little bit more painful than mm -hmm. crazy and mental and hilarious. But I hope you guys have enjoyed it either way. Thank you very much for watching. Go and check out Don't We Did Over on Jack's channel on Inform Salah. See you guys next time. Peace.